Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to cover here the very, very basics of macros and how to use them. So to turn on macro panel so we can see what we're doing, we go to View, Studio and Macro. And this comes up here as a panel. You can drag this anywhere the same as you can with any of the panels. Control zero to recenter the image so you can still see it because that pushed things over. And now, just like any recorder, you've got a record button, a stop button, and a play button. So if I click on record, nothing yet happens. Suppose I want to put in curves. So I click adjustments down here. Nothing is recorded yet because I could be going to it from somewhere else. When there's something useful, like if I click on curves, and now it's brought up a curves panel here, and put it add curves raster layer there, and exactly the same down here, add curves raster layer appears in the history. So now I'm going to go to, um, I think I'll drag this sideways to brighter, brighten up the picture and put a little bit of S curve in it to make a bit of contrast. So I think that's a lot better than it was. So with this, by the way, don't start clicking things up here because that will change what the macro is, is doing. You'll be very careful sometimes. Things you might go, oh, I'll just check this that's recorded as part of the macro. So I can finish that here and then I'm going to click stop. So stop recording so nothing else happens. Now I can do other things. So for example I can go here, click on that curves adjustment layer, right click it and say delete. But I've still got it in my macro here so if I click the play button it'll add curves raster layer and set adjustment parameters. There we go and this has come back again. If I go to another uh, image over here, control zero for that, which is taken at the same time with the same settings. Um, oh, my macro is gone. What's happened? It's back here. So I could still, I can still access this, but I need to save it or to somewhere I can save it. You save it to the library. So I click on add to library up there. Then it says, what's the name for the macro? Oh, I'll just say Brighton. And the category is the like the group within there. And there's one here called Playpen, which I will save it into there. So I click OK. And now my library module has come up. And I can see that if I click on my Playpen, there's the Brighton. And it's got two steps in it. But if you've got two macros here, uh, panels here, it's a good move to just put them into the same one there. So you've got the macro and the library. So now I've saved it to the library. In here, I can go to Reset. And I click on that. It basically takes it away there so I could record a new macro, but it's still in this one here. So again, if I go to the second one now, from within the library, it's still there, hasn't disappeared. Click on that, and there you go. We've brightened that image. So. That's the basics, so it's record, stop and play. This one's reset, that one's add to library. These two here are export and import, so you can export something to a file. Rather than save it to the library, you can save it to a file, so you can like give it to other people or things like that. And similarly, you can import, just sucks it in from a file. Anyway, that's it, that's the basics of macros. Very, very simple, records a cat set of instructions and then plays them back. Useful thing to do is to save them to a library. You can always get rid of them from the library if you don't want them anymore. So I can right click on that, say delete macro and now it's gone. There we go and thank you very much for watching.